Yeah, okay. Everything's good. Alright, let's see how much damage this does. That's what? 12,000? I'll take it. So we're going to start putting the beat down on the lady down bottom. Let's see how much damage this does. Fantastic. Alright, she's going to get weak soon, which means she's going to get a bit of a stat boost. My understanding is correct. The other tricky thing is with your support men, you do have to kind of like juggle around who you're hitting. Since there are uh, multiple targets here. Might actually not be a bad idea to bring somebody with high level dances, but you know, I don't have dances really ranked up as much as I do. The normal breakdowns. There's your percentile hit. Fuck. That's a big hit. She should be dead next turn. Yeah. Alright, now we focus our attention on Night Boy front and center. Refresh that lunatic high.
this is actually pretty manageable, but up until this point, I have had a Sentinel Grimoire. I am worried about what this fight will be like if Sentinel Grimoire ever wears off. Also, once Cypher starts using his big AoE spell that he has, or Zandensu can reverse. We need to get a power breakdown on him ASAP. I may be looking out here. Alright, show me that good Xanatsu can reverse. Let's do that right before you die. Nope. He never used it. I feel like I cheated. Alright, now it's just Raijin. Raijin, yes. Nah, I'm getting reports from the... From Field Reporter Crom that, uh... He never used Reverse on him either. And I think Crom left him for last, so... Wow, actually. Did I never get the Fire Aga? Probably didn't, since everybody's kind of at peak health. I think I may have even beat the, uh, the Sound of Grimoire wearing off. Should be noted that this fight is actually pretty good for, um, What's it? Uh, soul breaks, since hitting weakness charges your soul break faster. But that's a fight. That fight's all about controlling, like making, like you know, controlling and making sure you you pop one off at a time. It's a lot. It's a lot like the uh, the Gigas fight. It can be pretty intense early on, and then kind of fades off near the end. One of them alone is actually pretty manageable. I mean, frankly, I'm just before I cut to the next fight. I got lucky there. I never saw either of Cypher's strongest attacks. So there's that.